travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lalika and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Anne's living room. <laughs> I'm back here in Christchurch, New Zealand. Yay for being home! When you get off the plane in Christchurch at midnight, oh, even if it's summertime, oh, it's cold. <laughs> Please make sure you check out my flight review <laughs> of coming home. I'm so happy to be home. Anyway, if you saw my previous video of packing before I left China, oh my goodness. So I wish I was a minimalist. I really, really do. I feel like I have the kind of lifestyle where I should have less stuff. It's just not the case. And then I get home and realize that I have all these packages that I have bought myself, mostly from eBay because it's easiest for us to use. If you haven't seen my video on how to get money out of China, I will link it. So it means that I then have money in my account to be able to buy the stuff. I did this over a number of months and it's just that now I'm home, it looks like, wow, I've bought, he I've bought myself heaps of stuff. I find coming home to New Zealand, it's just a shock to the system financially and so I try and buy, especially some of these things, like you can't buy them in the stores here, so I do need to buy them online. And I'm glad that I've been able to stagger out my purchases. This should actually be a new winter coat, which I bought off season because, you know, Northern Hemisphere to some Southern Hemisphere I was able to get in a good sale. So I'm quite looking forward to opening that up. So then you ask, why didn't you just buy them in China? Well, I chose not to join up to Taobao in China. I did buy one thing which was when I very first moved and I will link that video in the description box below. A colleague bought it for me from his account. For me it seemed like a bit of a slippery slope. <laughs> There's so many things that you can buy on Tower, much like there is eBay and Amazon. But they're so cheap and then I would have had a much bigger problem in terms of how do I get all this crap home at this very moment. I won't be returning to China. For the foreseeable future, if you haven't seen my video on getting sick in China, I'm still not 100% and now that I'm home, I will get different healthcare. <laughs> I'm not saying one's better, one's worse, it's just different. And I will at least be able to communicate with a doctor in a regular way, which is so novel. <laughs> Most of these are really just replacement products. This is a way that works for me. So it is a pain because then poor old Anne has to sit on these boxes until I decide to show up and open them. <laughs> products ready for my next adventure, wherever that is. I don't want to move somewhere and have to go, oh, I need body wash or oh, I need new moisturizer lark in a week's time because I've only bought what's in my carry-on. That kind of stress for me doesn't work. The alternative is I've got to buy and take it with me. Because I move to live places then it's not like I'm not going to use these and once I get there then it's there. It lives in my shower or on my counter or wherever it should be and I will use it and I will get value out of it. I hope you're having a lovely day. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as I post new videos every week giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences. All right, let's get opening. All right, so these were on clearance. That's why I bought it. So this is a new sweater, which I had actually completely forgotten that I bought. <laughs> 200 bucks originally, I bought it on sale for 50. I'm sure it's completely wool. Knowing me, I am really trying, oh there's a moment here. Yeah, it's merino wool. I am trying very hard to replace items and make them merino wool. This is merino too, this is also 100%, but you can see through it. This is a lot heavier than what I'm wearing right now, but, and it looks like I like grey. Looks more like a ski jacket. $700, which of course I'm not paying. <laughs> and I got it down to $350. So it's just a down jacket. Let me try it on. I'm sure it's going to be lovely. So I'm hoping this lasts years. Trying. I don't know that I'm succeeding at the moment, but I'm trying to be much more purposeful with purchases that I am making. And yes, they might cost a little bit more but the longevity of them, because I've lived in East Asia. Finding clothing is very difficult. It's okay now with H&M, 
it's okay if you've got a Uniqlo nearby, then you will find things in bigger sites. <laughs> but not always. They don't. It's not like the H and M has like the exclusive plus size because I see other people do like plus size hauls. I myself have been into several H and M's across the world, and I've never ever seen a plus size section because I'm living in East Asia, and their bodies are a lot smaller for the most part. I will look on the clearance rack because that's where my size will be found. <laughs>